We are taking a look at the Colt LE 6920 SOCOM 2022 production. The Colt LE 6920 SOCOM first came into production in 2018 and immediately became popular due to its U.S. government property markings on the lower receiver. There was a brief production time for the original 2018 production, which stopped right around December of 2018. The LE 6920 SOCOM was not produced again till right around August through October time frame in 2021. This example I have here that we're taking a look at today has a factory date of January 26, 2022. Let's take a look inside. So this 2022 manufactured version of the LE 6920 SOCOM comes in a standard Colt, what I call a clamshell type box. Top right hand corner here, you've got the QR code. Over here we have the accessory packet. The accessory packet includes a manual, 30 round magazine, a lock, a foregrip and that looks like that is it let me open this up and we'll take a look at what's inside so we're going to take a more detailed look at the accessory package um, here is just the clear bag it's got the military specification military standard package markings on them Colt AR-15 semi-automatic rifle and carbine manual. It's got a manual date. It's uh, part number 96101, revision D, September of 2003. There is a Knight's Armament uh, six-rib rail cover. It's got a generic lock in it. I'd like to see these go back to the blue locks with Colt on it. A mil spec 30 round magazine. It's got a uh, Colt base plate on it. Magazine is dated June of 2021. Then we have a Knight's Armament uh vertical foregrip sorry about that i was trying to get it to to focus all right here the box opens up and we have the rifle underneath that so let me get that out and we'll take a look at the LE 6920 SOCOM itself. All right, so laid out here is the LE 6920 SOCOM in its shipping bag. Um, the bag is roughly about three feet, eight inches wide. So obviously bigger than the carbine. And it's about 13 inches um, from, uh, from the front to the back. And then here again, it's a military specification package with the packaging uh, designation there and a product date of August 2021. So I'll get the uh, carbine out of the bag and we'll take a look at it in detail. All right, we're going to look at this thing in some more detail and I will end up posting detailed photos on my website as well. The first thing I'm going to do is remove this chamber block or chamber flag, whatever you want to call it. So starting at the back, it's uh, got a standard carbine stock, which we would expect. Um, the markings are uh, hard to see. See if I can get it to focus in here. 
So it's got a, a PNS cage code with Made in USA. The other side is blank. So we have an ambidextrous selector. Long lever on left side, short lever on right side. Safe and fire markings for both. There we have Colt Defense, Hartford, Connecticut. We've got the laser engraved U.S. property markings. Um, some people don't like them. I think it looks good. I've got no problem with them. Um, let's look at the upper receiver markings. We've got a cage a Colt cage code with the brass aluminum forgings forging mark. Let's see, Knight's Armament 11 rib rail covers, three of them. We have the side swing adapter. There is no, just because people are going to ask, there is no F mark on the front sight base. There's no reason to have a F mark on the front sight base anymore because there's only one height of gas block and uh, sight used these days. The forge mark on the uh, gas block front sight, thing's drowning in oil, so I can't read it. We'll have to see what that says a little later. Um, let's take the bottom rail off here. Take a look under the, see if I can get this. Delta ring is super, super tough. It's probably one of the toughest ones I've ever dealt with. Ah, there we go. So here you can see the cutouts for the 203 grenade launcher indicating a true uh, SOCOM heavy barrel. Got an R right there which indicates Roscoe as the barrel subcontractor. And uh, the rail system is Knight's Armament. Got the extended flash hider. Some people don't like these. I like them. I don't think they look too bad. And uh, pin and weld job's really nice. No complaints there. The markings on the top of the barrel. Let's see if I can get those to focus in here. The uh, the oil's reflecting a lot of light, so it makes it hard to show up on camera. You got uh, Colt Cage Code 13629 MP for magnetic particle tested, 5.56 NATO 1 and 7. On the top of the M4 rail adapter system, you've got proper T marks. And on top of the upper receiver, you got T marks. Got the Matek backup iron sight with the commercial Picatinny marked mount. Let's let me open this up and we'll take a look at what's inside. No visible marks on the hammer. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Uh, sh looks like Schmidt marked hammers. <clears throat> I 
We have an H2 marked buffer. The charging handle is not marked. Does not look like the bolt carrier is marked. Let me get the bolt disassembled here. Got to get a tool. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, while I was grabbing a tool to disassemble the bolt carrier group, I grabbed a rag to wipe off uh, some of the oil. And if you look right there, you can see a C that's been peened into it. So um, that obviously doesn't look as good as a stamp C, but... Uh, you know, overall, I'm fine either way. I'm, I don't get bent out of shape about a, a C missing off there. And then your bolt. Let me wipe some of the oil off of this as well. So we can see. Yeah, I might, I might not have any, any markings on my bolt. Yeah, I don't, there's no mark in there. Uh, let me take the extractor out. I'll tell you, man, the the fit of the parts on these thing, on this thing is super tight. Not a bad thing. I just didn't. I wasn't expecting it to be so tight. And no marking on the extractor. It does have the copper spring and black insert. So there you go. A uh, quick down and dirty look at the LE 6920 SOCOM 2022 production. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, like I said, I'll be doing more detailed photos and posting those on my website. See ya.